Hello and welcome back to Sheaf Math. In today's lesson, we are going to learn about the distributive property and multiplying. So what is the distributive property? Now, it's, uh, it's more complicated to explain it than it really is, but uh, what you have is two uh, polynomials that are multiplying. Uh, you're multiplying something times the sum of something else, and so that a is going to be multiplying the b, and the a is going to be multiplying the positive c. So that looks like this, a times b plus a times c. Now here is a uh, problem uh, with a distributive property. So what that looks like is we're simply multiplying the 2 times the x and the 2 times the positive 4. And it looks like this. 2 times x plus 2 times 4, and we simplify those, and we get 2x plus 8. That's not too bad. So let's do a few examples. So here we have 5 times the quantity c minus 3. So we're going to multiply 5 times the c and 5 times the negative 3. Okay, and so that looks like this, 5 times c plus 5 times negative 3. Now you'll notice I put a plus in between them because we are uh, we're adding the product of both of those multiplications. Okay, you want to stay away from doing something like this where you have the minus and then you multiply the 5 times 3. It will get co uh, confusing for you later on. So you want to stick with the yellow uh, answer. So we simplify and we get 5c minus 15, which is our answer, okay? Now we have negative 2 times the quantity m minus 4, so we multiply negative 2 times m and negative 2 times negative 4, and we add the products of both of them, so we get negative 2m plus negative 2 times negative 4 is a positive 8, and so there's our answer. Okay, now sometimes there's a coefficient in front of that x, and so uh, we, we still multiply both of those. And so 8 times 3x plus 8 times 5, you multiply the 8 times the coefficient 3, so we get 24x plus 40. Okay, now uh, sometimes we're multiplying by uh, a trinomial. And so we are going to distribute that 4 all the way through to all three of them. And we're going to add all of the products together. So this is what it looks like. So make sure you put that plus sign in between them and uh, negatives in parentheses if you have to. And so we simplify and we get 12x squared minus 28x plus 8. Okay, and so that's the simple version of distributive property. I hope it helps. If you uh, want to watch the video again, I encourage you to, to get a little better grasp of it. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.